Hi, demons. Welcome back to school. My name is Miss Axiomic, a.k.a. Miss A or Mrs. A. I don't care what you call me. Um, I am so looking forward to getting started with you guys once again, whether or not you are new to Golden High School, you're a freshman doing remote learning, or you're a sophomore or junior in geometry, whatever the case is, I am so happy just to be working with your smiling faces once again. Um, in this short little video, I want to explain to you guys a little bit about who I am, because some of you I know have never met me before, um, as well as tell you a little bit about what to expect about your class and how to contact me. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. Hopefully I don't babble on too long. So first things first, a little bit about me. I am not a Colorado native. I was actually born in the land of 10,000 lakes, a.k.a. Minnesota. I then went to college at uh, Marquette University in Milwaukee and following moved to Denver where I got my master's degree at the University of Denver. Here's some pictures of my little family. That's my husband there in the background with some of our summer loot. We did some summer canning and pickling. And my two stepsons, um, this is Silas up top and Eli on the bottom. They're both college aged. And then these are my babies, <laughs> my fur babies, that is. Um, the top one here is, of course, Bud. He's a good boy. And not going to lie, even though I love my dog dearly, I'm kind of a crazy cat lady. I got two kitty cats. This is my old girl, Miley, on the left, and my younger, feistier little fur baby, Emmy, on the right. Some of the things I'm interested in that I hope we share is things like gardening and eating fresh foods. I really uh, love to cook and I like to get my ingredients straight from my back door when I can. I love listening to music, especially that of like the bluegrass variety or alternative mixes. I even love a little rap thrown in there. Um, I find myself most, most of the time these days listening to the Colorado sound. It's just got a great mix. So if you haven't heard of that before, I encourage you to go ahead and check it out. It's on 105.5. I also like to do all the things Colorado. So hiking, biking, like you name it, camping, stand up paddle boarding. Love to do all that stuff. Hopefully we have some of those things in common that we can talk about and use as examples throughout the year. And lastly, I really love constructing and improving the community around me. Um, I, for the last couple of years, have had the privilege of teaching a class called Geometry and Construction, where we learned the geometry content through building a house or habitat for humanity. Uh, if you are physically at the school building anytime soon and you peek out of the science or English windows, you should see it, um, a house being built on that back quarter. Um, we didn't get to finish it last year because of all the COVID stuff in the spring, but it will be being finished this year. Now, teaching this class taught me a lot about how I believe students learn best. And really, what it boils down to is I believe that you learn by doing and by exploring. I'm going to try my hardest this year to help you guys um, with the resources we have available to us to learn the content that way online. It's not going to be perfect. It might be a little messy. Sometimes you might get frustrated. I might get frustrated. But we know what? We're in it together, and we're going to figure it out. Um, speaking of classes I teach, I also teach uh, college algebra online. That's probably my biggest class uh, this semester. I'm a, also a certified instructor through the uh, you succeed program with the University of Colorado at Denver. But for you guys who are getting this video, um, you are in my Algebra 1 Geometry and Honors Geometry classes, and you are doing remote learning. So like you, I'm also doing remote learning or remote teaching, I should say, because I have an autoimmune disorder. So I'll be working from my home office most days and helping support you guys through these classes. I wanted to uh, keep things as simple as I could for you by using platforms that made sense, <laughs> okay? I know last year some of you uh, may have gotten 
flustered or frustrated at times because you felt like there was just so many things to click on and you weren't sure where to click and what to do. Well, I'm going to try to simplify that process for you. The first thing that you're going to do is make sure that you log into Google Classroom because this is where links to our synchronous meeting that we're going to hold through Zoom, that's where those are going to be posted. It's where I'll put daily announcements um, kind of in a Facebook style. It'll be a stream on the front page. Um, and then the middle tab in Google Classroom has the classwork. And this is where you're going to be linked to assignments that you'll have for the week. Now, all that stuff is going to be done through this program called Edgenuity. You'll have a unique login for that. I will get you in there this next week um, and let you kind of explore around a little bit. In Edgenuity, you will have your lesson, meaning the videos. They are not done by me, but they, hey, they're pretty, pretty explanatory. They say much the same things I would. Um, there will be some interactive to play with. And then there will also be things like practices, quizzes, and tests. It's all kind of housed in this Edgenuity system. Um, and again, I'm using this program because I think it might help some of you know what to do, where to click, um, that kind of stuff. What I recommend that you have for this class going in is a scientific calculator. Okay, um, I know you have those on your phone, but I really, really recommend a handheld one. They're not very expensive. They're usually around 12 bucks or so at Target, Walmart, you name it. Um, just because it's going to be easier for you to physically press those buttons instead of fighting with your, your phone screen the whole time. I also recommend that you have a designated notebook or binder for this class. Um, it'd be helpful if it had graph paper in it like they sell little composition notebooks that have graph paper. Those would be perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it's something to kind of keep all your stuff for this class together. That being said, I don't want to take up too much more of your time today. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to shoot me an email. It is kaxman at jeffcoschools.us. If you want to talk on the phone or in a virtual meet, please just send me an email and ask It'd be helpful if you told me some times that you're available, like a couple different ones, so that I could, if I have other people in my schedule, I could plan around that. It is my goal to touch base with each one of you one-on-one -on -one within the first couple of weeks of school. So don't be surprised if you get a phone call from me and you're like, why is my math teacher calling me? Well, I want to call and introduce myself um, and make sure you know that I'm, I'm friendly and I'm open to, to talk to you about whatever you need. Thanks so much, guys. I look forward to working with you next week. Have a great rest of your day.